victory. Indeed, they can laugh. Because Essendon have hammered Geelong in this qualifying final. 24 goals, 13. A total of 157. 11 15 81 Geelong and the stunned face of Malcolm Blight tells the story. But take nothing away from Tim Watson and his team. They were superb, Ian Robertson. Well, they played a very disciplined, tough, and uh, what is really needed here at the MCG or VFL Park at this time of the year. And perhaps, you know, Bernie, you've mentioned about their experience. They know what's needed to win these games. And they went out there with tough minds and tough bodies right from the start. Yes, there's no doubt about that. I think the finals experience played a big part in this victory. There's many players out, out there who played in two premiership sides. Terry Danaher, Simon Madden, Mark Thompson and Kevin sheedy has been around for a long time. He knows what it's all about also. And there's a the victorious Essendon side leaving the field. And I'd say the good thing about that Essendon performance was it was such an even performance. They had good players all over the field. Just repeating that final score here at the MCG. Essendon 24-13, 157. Geelong 11-15, 81. <laughs> kicking their lowest score for the year. Essendon 24-13, 157. Geelong 11-15, 81. Really only one person can have a smile on his face up here, Bernie Quinlan, because, well, he was the only one in the team that picked them. Well, it is good to see that one of the Channel 7 commentary team knows something about the game, Sandy, but uh, the oh, Essendon... Oh, I'm getting break. <laughs> well, I saw them last week, and I must admit that I was very impressed. I would have gone for Geelong, for Geelong today had I not seen Essendon last week, and they put up a tremendous performance last week. They continued on this week. They've got great finals players, finals experience all over the ground, and that's very necessary when it comes up into the finals this time of the year, Ian. Yeah, I think you mentioned something, uh, Bernie, about pace, and, and they've got probably half a dozen really quick players that have just slowly been brought into this side, like Buick and Michael Long, uh, in two in particular. And uh, looking at the statistics, I mean, it was just so one-sided, wasn't it? Uh, the marks that Essendon took, 71 to 29. I mean, Malcolm Blight has to read thing into that. And the... Possessions from kicks and handballs so one-sided as well. All right, gentlemen, thank you for that. We shall take a break. And it is not a pretty sight with some gusty winds and heavy rain. And that Essendon supporter is happy, but won't like the rain too much. That completes our coverage for this afternoon here at the MCG. Essendon are big winners. And so next week in the second semi-final, they will play Hawthorne at VFL Park. Malcolm Blight and the Cats have begun the journey home, must regroup when they take on Melbourne here at the MCG. Where have you been watching? We hope you've enjoyed it. This is Sandy Roberts saying good afternoon to you all. Skippy decides he wants to join the army tonight on Family Ties, a big hour of comedy from 6.30. Stay tuned to 6 now for comedy on New Heart. This has been a Seven Sport presentation for the Australian Television Network.